live at Logan Airport this morning and Jen explain to us why you're there at the airport. Antoinette, we just went inside Terminal A here at Logan Airport and just inside the door we found families with no place to stay. We saw at least 16 people, including small children, sleeping on the floor, sleeping in chairs there. I spoke with two of them using a translation app. They told me they are foreigners. One woman said she came here from Haiti. They said they have no place to go. They're looking for a safe place to stay right now. Advocates say this situation has been playing out for months. Families arriving here at Logan Airport in the past, they've been directed to the Massachusetts emergency shelter system and given a place to stay. Governor Healy capped off the number of families that can stay in that system at 7500. And now there's a wait list. Yesterday we spoke with families who were picked up from Logan by Immigrant Family Services Institute in Mattapan. That organization paid for hotel rooms on Wednesday night for 14 families, but can't afford to continue to do that. Advocates say lawmaker inaction on this issue has real consequences. We were being both uh, housed by a priest in San Antonio, and we were told that Massachusetts might be a place to assist us since we had nowhere else to go. They're going to be staying on the cold on the streets, not knowing for how long, because they are being placed into a waiting list, but there is no waiting place for them to be. The two people who I spoke to inside showed me the same piece of paper they were given when they came here. It gives the address for the family welcome centers set up in this state for homeless families, but they don't have any way of getting there, they say. So for now, they're sleeping here inside Logan Airport. We're live at Logan Airport this morning. Jennifer Egan, WCVB News Center 5.